Hey everyone, it's me Preeti. In my previous video, I have taught you how to find the minimum difference between two continuous elements of an array. Now, it is different, that is opposite. How to find the maximum difference between two continuous elements of an array? It is just a simple change of logic. Uh, as I spoke about how to arrange the elements in ascending order and descending order, it was just a simple logic. In the same way, there is also a simple change of a logic, that is how to find the minimum difference sorry maximum difference between two continuous elements of an array so i'll quickly get started and i'll explain you each line so that you will understand the minor difference as well and what am i actually doing in this logic so please do watch carefully and do listen carefully uh, i'll be explaining each and every line and what happens when loop iterates each time as well so let me get started i'll just keep the initialization and declaration of an array as it is yes now what I have is just, uh, I'll just take off this uh, arrays as well because this is used when arrays.sort and build method is taken. Now initially as I previously spoke in my previous program I have taken arrays.sort and I have also told you at what conditions you're supposed to take that sort and what you're not supposed to take should be known by you. You should analyze when should I use this method and when should I not. And why am I using the sort method? Is uh, since I'm performing a minus function from the backside, that is second index position minus first, that is one minus zero, two minus one, three minus two. So when I do this, uh, I don't get a negative value. But if I do, from the if I don't arrange the elements in an ascending order, the elements will be merged up, and there might be a chances of me getting some uh, messy result. So I wanted to arrange it into a sorted manner. So before performing any operations, make sure that your array is in a sorted manner. And when it is sorted, performing operations on a sorted array will be very easy. Trust me. So do a sort your array before performing anything on an array. So I'm just sorting. Just give arrays control space. You will get java.util dot sort and my array name is arr so i have sorted an array now i am taking a variable int difference in the same way i have took in my previous video now i'm gonna store integer dot minimum value there i have stored the maximum value i hope right here i'm storing the minimum value so this difference variable would contain most minimum value in it it might contain zero also i have no idea but it contains a very least value now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna iterate a loop to get the values of an array for int i is equals to zero i less than a dot length sorry it is a r r because my array value array name is arr dot length minus one and i plus plus so i've already told you please go back and watch the videos of arr dot length minus one why am i actually taking that which is very important okay now if a of i plus one minus a of i is oh Doing this mistake it is a r r right i usually forget the variable names a r r is greater than difference yes then store the value of a r r i plus one minus a r r of i into difference Yes, finally give the semicolon and print it outside the for loop so that I'll get the final result. Not every time what I see should be printed. So difference. So fine. I think I'm done with the coding. Now let me get into explanation of quick logic. Now the array initialization and declaration is here. I have sorted the array. After sorting, what will be my output? It will be this way. 2, 4, 5, 9. It will be... 20 20 and 40 so we are finding the maximum difference between two continuous elements right so 4 minus 2 will be 2 5 minus 4 will be 1 
20 minus 9 will be 11, 20 minus 20 will be 0, and 40 minus 20 will be 20. So this is the maximum difference, I guess. 20 minus 40 is the maximum difference which we can get. So when you run this program, you should get back your uh, maximum difference as 20, which we are getting. So how are we getting? So initially, I have already told you this integer is a wrapper class. Integer dot minimum value is an inbuilt thing from your IDE only. When you give this, the most minimum value will be stored into a variable int difference. So when you iterate your loop for the first time, your index position will be zero right but we are doing a comparison with the two index positions here that is with zero index position and one index position so let me start array of i plus one that is zero plus one will be one and one index position will have a value four and a of i i value is zero so zero index position will have a value of two so four minus two is how much two so 4 minus 2 is 2. If 2 is greater than any difference, if it is 2 is greater than the value which is present in difference, then the 2 will be stored into difference because difference has a very least value. So initially 2 will be stored into a variable difference right again the loop iterates for the second time i increments to one so one plus one will be two the tooth index position will have a value of five and this index position is one and one index position has a value of four so five minus four five minus four is one is one greater than two no so it never enters into a loop second third time the loop iterates it will be nine minus five so what is nine minus five it is four so is uh, four greater than two yes of course four is greater than two so four will be two will be replaced by by, by four so difference contains a variable four now okay again loop increments it will do 20 minus 9 so what is 20 minus 9 people it is 11 so is 11 greater than 4 of course 11 is greater than 4 so 4 is replaced by 11 now okay 4 is replaced by 11 again now initial now the difference contains a value of 11 again it does increments a for loop and it becomes 20 minus 20 which is 0 so this complete expression will contain a value of 0 so is 0 greater than 11 no so it never enters into the loop again i increments it goes back and compares 40 with the 20 so what is 40 minus 20 it is 20 so is 20 greater than 11 so yes 20 is greater than 11 when 20 is greater than 11 the value of 20 is here and it gets stored into difference and 11 will be replaced so i hope you people understood how this happened but uh, you might be thinking the values are getting replaced every time when the condition is success that is when it executes when condition fails it never sent it never enters into the loop so finally the value of 20 will be stored and i'm printing the result out of the for loop so that i'll get the final result i don't want to uh, print every time what happens i just want to get my result at the end that's it that is the reason i'm printing out of the for loop if, if you print inside the for loop you will understand it even more better i'll just take this off yes and i'll print s y s o and it is difference yes now you can see what difference stores each time so i'll just run this yes and initially i can say initially difference stores 2 next it stores 4 next it stores 11 at the end it stores 20 so among all of these elements which one is the greatest since 20 is the greatest and i want the maximum difference that is the reason i'm printing my result out of the for loop not inside the for loop I hope you people understood this right so print it after the follow-up so this you should understand perfectly when you try coding in hanker rank or hanker earth uh, hacker rank or hacker earth so there might be these chances as well that you are supposed to uh, uh, get your output at the end that is after for loop okay so i hope you people understood this video and uh, please do uh, please do share and subscribe this uh, channel to have more updates on as of how to crack interviews and uh, what are the different questions that come up in coding rounds uh, from all of the top companies so please do watch and share with your friends and tell them what did you learn new today so thanks thank you for watching